In this video, we will be going over default chart options. Now, this is the third video in a three video series on the topic. If you have not had the opportunity to view the other two videos, we recommend you view those first before continuing on. To bring up the default chart options, we click on Configure, Preferences, Chart, Options. The first two videos will deal with these two first columns here. This video will focus on this last column here. At the top, we have the Show Bird's Eye View and Show Bird's Eye Lines. If those are selected, then they will become available on any new charts. Let me show you. If we click Chart, let's bring up Microsoft. And you'll notice here the Bird's Eye View is shown along with the vertical lines. Okay, let's close that up. Let's go back. Chart options. When drawing trend lines in Motive Wave, Motive Wave will attempt to load enough data to properly display all the trend lines on the chart. So by default, it will estimate where the starting point of a trend line is based on the available data. By selecting this option, you're going to be forcing Motive Wave to load all the data going back to the beginning of the trend lines to improve the accuracy of the plot. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here in a 30 minute chart, if I were to draw a trend line, let's say from this low to this low, and then if I were to extend it, so this keeps going to the future and to the past, if I go into a lower time frame, Motive Wave will load a specific set amount of data um, unless we force it with resolved trend lines. So it's going to estimate how far this goes back. By selecting resolved trend lines, you're going to load all the historical data available in order to recalculate this trend line. So before enabling it, just keep in mind that in doing so, you're going to be causing a lot of data to be loaded from your broker or data service. We usually recommend that you leave this option off and just turn it on when required. So let's go back to configure. Preferences, Chart, Options. Next we have Show Properties and Double Click. By selecting this, you are allowing the Properties window dialog to show when selecting, for example, a component. So if I were to draw a trend line, or just a regular line, it doesn't have to be a trend line, just a line. Now if I double click this, the Properties window shows. If I do not have that selected, uh, if I double click on it, nothing will happen other than the component being selected. Okay, so let's close that. Let's go back, configure, preferences, chart, options. We have group studies. By selecting group studies, when you have studies at the bottom of a chart stacked, like in this situation, for instance, MACD and stochastics, you may have quite a few stacked to the point where it gets too high. It would have the same effect as going to view and then group studies. You'll notice now that they're grouped with their tabs at the bottom. Let's go back, configure, preferences, chart, options. We have show study labels and this enables a display of study labels in the legend. So if I were to turn this off and click apply, Take a look up here before I do that. You'll notice now that it's gone. So let's put that back, show study labels, and it comes back. With study bar updates, this toggles the live updating of studies from live data versus calculating the most recent values on the close of a bar. So let me show you. Let me just change this SMA not to have a shift. Okay, you'll notice here on the most current bar that the SMA basically stops on the last close bar. So by enabling study bar updates, you're forcing the recalculation on every tick for the studies. So that would be uh, the equivalent of doing this here, bar updates, apply. And now you'll notice that the SMA has caught up to the current bar. Now, if you have a lot of studies, 
and this is not necessary, we recommend turning that off in order to save from all the calculations and affecting performance. So let's go back, configure, preferences, chart, options. With study doc long names enabled, the study tabs in the study doc will use the label instead of the tab name. And when we refer to label, this is the label which is picked up from the study header section in the source code of that specific study. Then we have use account position. And this by default will enable the use account position in strategies. So if I were to bring up a strategy here, it would be this field here in the trading options section. Let's go back to configure preferences, chart, options. The show values in legend, if enabled, the current study values will be displayed next to the study label in the study legend. Um, if I were to bring up, let's say Microsoft, you'll see here the study values. In this case, for the SMA is 152.11. Okay, so let's go back to configure, preferences, chart, options. We have simple study title. This is a simplified version of the study title. If we deselect it, you'll notice here that we also now have the colors of the specific studies showing. We have overlay volume. Any new charts that you open, if you have overlay volume set, then the volume here at the bottom will be overlaid on the charts. If we do not have it set, then it will not show. Um, let's try Amazon. You'll notice here there's no volume showing. Let's go back, configure, preferences, chart, options. We have draw candle outline, which draws the outline of the candle rectangle. Now this is going to be hard to see, so what I'm going to do is let me pick different colors here, just so we can see it. So if we go back, configure preference, chart, options, if we take off draw candle outline, in this case, I made the outline yellow so we can see it. If we click Apply, you'll notice now that it's gone. So that's what that is for. The auto load studies, for those of you who use our SDK to program your own studies, will load the studies with the SDK if the jar file is updated, and it will be loaded into MotiveWave so that a restart of MotiveWave is not required. And then use last image name. When we take a snapshot of the current chart, we're asked for a name here. Whatever name we put in here will be retained for the next snapshot. So if we do it again, it will now overwrite the one that we currently have. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.